the last couple of years have seen these boys, Leicester City, revert back to what many would say is their natural position in the Premier League. But I say, balls to that, it's time to recreate the miracle. Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got the start of a brand new series on the channel, Leicester City Recreating the Miracle, where I'm going to attempt to win the league with Leicester City, not necessarily in the first year. I'm not expecting to get there in the first two or three seasons, but I am expecting to get there at some point so that would be very very nice if I can do what Ranieri was able to do for Leicester and so as you can see today is in fact game day for the first game of the season we're at home against Newcastle so I'm going to bring you that game I'm going to take you through the finances the transfers in the transfers out and then we'll have a very quick look at the squad as a whole and maybe the team report as well so without any further ado, let's go jump straight into it. First thing I want to have a look at is the finances. And we started the save in uh, with about 20 million in the bank. I think it was something like that. So it has dipped a little bit because of the transfers that I have brought in. As you can see, the original budget was 15.5 million. It's gone down now to 6.9. Still not. Brilliant, but not awful. I think we've got some very, very good players in. So we'll have a look at them in a minute. But the projection for the club is to be, by the end of the season, 14.85 14 million in debt, which would not be good. But we need to get European football. That's my aim for this first season. If we can get Europe, I think we might be all right for money next year. So let's hope we can do that. And then this season after... We're projected so far to be 19.2 in debt and then 23 and a half in debt by the end of the third season. So we really need to look after the finances, bring people in and just be careful with our money. And so speaking of money, let's go and have a look at the transfers. Is it ever going to let me? And so here we go. What are we going to do first, guys? We're going to do the ins because they're a bit more exciting. So, Johnny Evans and James Madison, they've obviously joined the club in real life. So, I'm not going to talk too much about them just yet. But what I am going to talk about is the people I have brought in. And the first one, as you can see, is Nathaniel Klein, the right back, on loan from Liverpool. I think this is a very, very good deal for us. We've got him in and we're paying, what are we paying? 700 grand a month, which isn't terrible when you think about it. So it would have cost us a lot, lot more to buy him. And I think we're paying all of his wages, are we? Yeah, we are. Well, we're paying 75 grand a week. Yeah, we're paying all his wages. So I'm quite happy with his deal. He's very good, decent acceleration, I should say. Decent pace, very good stamina. So he can keep going all game long. He's got good work rate, good teamwork, which is going to be important for here at Leicester. Because I do think it was the teamwork that made the dream work that season they won the league. And so tackling 16, dribbling 13, crossing, maybe might set him working on that a little bit. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know down below. And so, next one in through the door was a man coming back in through the door. It's Danny Drinkwater, part of that midfield dream team with N'Golo Kante that season. We've brought him back. He's still only 28 years old. He's valued at 10.75 million. And he can do a couple of roles perfectly. The box-to-box -box or the deep-line playmaker. And so we are paying him 105 grand a week. Maybe a little bit much than I wanted to be paying him. But it's what he wanted. And I really wanted to get him back in. I looked at getting him in on loan. But to get him in on loan, we would have been paying more then the four million, I think it was, we paid for him. Yeah, four million we paid to get him outright. It would have cost us about seven and a half, eight for the whole season to get him in on loan. So that's how I'm justifying it. We're paying him more higher wages, but we're not having had to pay as much out in one go 
on the transfer. So I'm quite happy with that deal. And if you look at that, Chelsea paid us 27 million and we've then bought him back for 4 million. That's a little bit of a deal, guys, isn't it? So next one in again from Chelsea is the England defender, Gary Cahill. 32 years old now, not the youngest, but he's still experienced and his physicals are still decent. He's got good strength, good jumping reach, good stamina. And look at that for bravery. Perfect 20 out of 20. Positioning 14, tackling 16, marking 15, heading 17. I think he's still a very, very good defender. And I'm going to go through your team report, like I said, and you'll see who else we've got. But it's the very English uh, centre-back pairings we've got at the minute. And as for another centre-back, just for a little bit of cover, we've got Eloquim Mangala on loan from Manchester City. We are paying... Uh, we've not paid anything on loan, apparently. So that's very good, isn't it? We've, and so, another good centre-back. 15 heading, 14 marking, 12 positioning, 12 concentration. They're not the best. They, and he's quite aggressive, so he might get himself sent off more times than we'd like. But I think it's a gamble worth taking. He's brave. He's got good strength. And his jumping reach is still decent. So, yeah, no nonsense centre-back. If any of our other centre-backs get injured, he's going to be a very good replacement. And so the last one in is a guy some of you might recognise from my year with BMG over in Germany, Borussia Mönchengladbach, for those of you who aren't initiated. I spent a year with them, Not was it last year's FM? No, not last year's FM, the year before. I did a journeyman save and I ended up in watching Gladbach for a year. And Traore, weirdly, was one of my favourite players of that team. So I've been able to bring him in on loan. Again, just for a little bit of cover, just in case of injuries. And so he's got 18 on acceleration, 15 pace, 14 crossing. So that's decent. He's not going to improve on anything really. But again, another little backup just to keep us covered and to keep us... Out of an injury crisis. And so, out of the door, all these have been my decision. First one out is Johan Beneluani. Most of the reason I've decided to sell him is because I can't pronounce his name. And so, he's gone out to Stoke. They ended up paying 3.3 million. Not really much else to say about that. And then another couple have gone out on loan. Hamza Chowdhury has gone to Middlesbrough. 20-year-old central midfielder. He's not going to get in the team this year. I doubt he ever will, but you never know. He's not never really done that much. He's not scored. He's, only, he's played a few games here and there, but not really for us. So he's gone out on loan. And next one out is Fuseni Diabeti. I think that's how you pronounce it. He, he's a 22-year-old winger. Two and a half star rated ability according to the scouts. And so, we're going to see how he gets on. I'm not expecting, again, too much from him. But you never know what can happen in the future. And so, next transfer out is Andy King. I understand he's a little bit of a Leicester legend. But he was never going to get into my central midfield. And so, we decided to get rid of him. Got a decent amount of money. How much did we, how much did we get again? Six and a half, rising to nine million. I'm happy with that deal. Again, according to the scouts, he's only a 48 rated. So, yeah, happy with that. Happy with that. Happy to have got him out the door. Someone who's not is Kasper Samichael. As soon as Andy King left, Samichael come to me and he moaned. He's, like, oh, he's all really upset because Andy King is a club legend. So, I've told him I'm going to replace him. But, to be honest, I think I already have with bringing Drinkwater in. Get rid of one Leicester legend, bring another one back in. So hopefully that's going to keep Sir Michael happy. And then last one out the door on loan is Callum Elder. 23 year old Australian. Two star rated. He's, he's got pace. Well, he knows he's got pace. He's got stamina. He's got crossing. He's just meh. Meh, meh, meh. That's all I can say about him. And so let's go on to the team report. I think I've got my tactics set up. So we'll go have a look at the squad depth. Yep. We are going 
just like how Leicester was in that season they won the league. 4-4-2, direct counter-attack. I already know what two I'm going to go up front. Obviously, Jamie Vardy and Ian Acho. They are going to be a great pairing up top, I should think. And so let's go down into the midfield. It says there that Traore is our best left winger. Wasn't expecting that. I've not had too much of a look at this team report yet. So yeah, he might be getting a few games. And then in the midfield, we've got Adrian Silva, who is wanted by Man United. They did come in for one offer for him, but it was a piddly offer. It was like 25 million, I think it was. So very poor offer. But then he came to us and he said, I want to leave, I want to go to Man U. So I negotiated with him and I said, if they come in with a £31 million offer, you can go. They failed to do that. So hopefully he's going to be all right. Hopefully he's not going to be kicking off too much about that. And then on the right wing, we've got All Brighton or Damari Gray. I'll probably be using Damari Gray, I should think. I prefer him over All Brighton. And so left back, we've got Ben Chilwell as quite clearly our best left back. And Christian Fuchs is just half a star behind him. But I can't see him getting to the team on a first choice basis too much. So centre backs, look at this for a, for a back three or back four even. Because if we go five more players, there we go. We've got Johnny Evans, Harry Maguire, Mangala. No idea who Kagla Sionkyu is. If he's played for Leicester this year, let me know. Because I've not heard too much about him. So let's just have a quick look at him. 13 heading, 16 marking, 16 tackling. Concentration and decisions, that's where he's let down. He needs to work on that. He's, he's brave. Positioning isn't great. Yeah, Leicester, why have you paid 19 million for this fella? I, I, I would not have done, but whatever you want. But yeah, so, I disagree a little bit with these, with these rankings. But like I said, we've got Evans, we've got Maguire, we've got Mangala, we've got Kagla, and then we've got Cahill and the legend that is Wes Morgan. So, as far as centre-backs go, we're very solid, we're very strong. So I'm very happy with that. And then on right-back, we've got two very good options there. We have got Pereira, who if we have a look at him, 16 acceleration, 15 pace, 14 crossing, 14 dribbling, technique 15, work rate 14, 3 and a half star current, 4 star potential ability. I'm happy with him. Leicester paid 18 million in real life. I'm a little bit happier with that deal. And then also, uh, Nathaniel Klein, who we have just had a look at. I think he's going to be my first choice. Oh, I don't know, his crossing isn't the best. Hmm, I might go with Klein to start off with to see how and then see how we get on for the first few games. And then obviously in goal we've got Casper Samichael, Danny Ward, and some third choice keeper, Eldin Jakupovic, who I have been trying to get rid of. I'm not really that interested in keeping him on him on board, but no one else has come in with an acceptable offer. So he's sticking around for the time being. And so let's go have a look. At the tactics and I'll set the team up. I'll just do that right now. So Sir Michael, like I said, in goal as the sweeper keeper. And then I'm gonna I am gonna go Klein at right back. And then in the middle, we're gonna have set this by roles. Harry Maguire, obviously. And do we go for Cahill or Evans? I kinda like the idea of Cahill, but he's not quite fit yet. So I'm going to say Johnny Evans, just for the time being. And then full back on the left-hand side. Ben Chilwell, he can go in there. And then on the right-hand side, Damari Gray, like I said. Because I think he's got decent crossing ability, has he? 12. Not the best, but he can work on that. And so ball winning midfielder. Adrian Silva, what is your favourite role, young man? Da, 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 deep line playmaker you want to be, but we're not we're not using one of those. So you you can go. I don't want to go ball. I want to go central midfield. So if we've either got a ball or drink water. Does he want to go there? Not really, does he? Will he go central midfield? He'll do all right there. So yeah, we'll put him there and we'll put Adrian Silva as the ball winning midfielder, and then and then wide midfielder on the left. Uh, Ibrahima Traore is injured, so he's not going to get a game for a few weeks. 
So in all Brighton there. And then pressing forward, I'm going to give that to Jamie Vardy. And then advanced forward is going to be Ian Nacho. And then here we go. Uh, pick without restriction, pick the subs. I always let my assistant do this. And so James Madison, I forgot about him. Oh, he's best as an attacking midfielder centre, but I like him. Oh, do I drop drink water? Yes, I do. Oh, but Madison's not happy about that. Okay, so drink water goes back in. If this formation needs to change, then I'll chuck on James Madison. He's a good option off the bench. And maybe getting another striker might be an idea in January. Because so far we are using our two fit strikers in the one formation. So that's not the best. But let's go jump on into the game. Oh yeah, this I was, I was doing this last night. And I was umming and ahhing about everything. As you can see, a little bit of my wall. As there we go. So let's just see. Do, 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 do. Yep, that's all all right. So, yeah, I was umming and ahhing about this last night. Trying to get... Who is it I'm trying to get in? Ibrahima Traore, I believe it is. Yeah, I'm trying to get him into the team, but I can't figure out who to drop. I might drop Danny Ward. How many keepers have we got in there? Only the two, so we can't drop him. Da, 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 da. I'm I'm gonna I can't leave it and, do, and and defer it, can I? Danny Simpson. No, Danny Simpson. We've got a few better right backs. Now my mind is working. There you go. And so confirm selection. Go yes. And now we are gonna go on to the game for our first game of this season. Hopefully we can get a decent result. I know I've been waffling through a little bit. This is going to be a longer episode than usual. And then uh, Danny. Danny Simpson's not happy. And yep. That's been sorted there. Very nicely done. And so yeah. First game of the season today. Against Newcastle. And then second game is against West Ham. I'll be doing that off camera. And so let's go hand that over to me assistant manager. And yep. And then... Yeah, we've got a new physio coming in. Welcome on board, Matt. All right, then, finally, here we are. Game day. We're the favourites, which I suppose I would agree with. Newcastle haven't been the best, so haven't been the best in real life. So let's go Go team selection. We haven't got a scout report or next opposition. Okay, future bad jokes. When you're editing this, remember to put a scout report or next opposition. That would be very, very good. And actually, bring Cahill in for Ibora or Morgan. For Morgan. And then, yep, leave that at that. So that's my one last change. And here we go. First game of the season. Can we get a win to start towards recreating the miracle? Newcastle are going for a 4 2 3 1 with the oldest anything Dimitar Berbatov up top. So hopefully our defence can keep him quiet. And then I'm going to go auto automate the opposition instructions. And I'm going to go passing it. Go out there and impress me. Nobody's really listened. So I'm going to go, I have faith for faith for faith. I have faith for faith for faith. Nobody else seems to. Jamie Vardy does. If Jamie Vardy has faith, we are going to be okay. And so, yeah, special day. Uh, Rondon's absence. Uh, I'm focused on what we can do. Uh, he's just being rested. Weird thing to say on the first day of the season, but whatever. And so let's just make sure I've got my camera and everything how I want it. So do do do, and then extended highlights. Yep. Let's see, we're going to go key for this series. And so, yep, guys, this series is going to be a bit more laid back than what the Met Police one was slash will be. Because if you didn't see on my last Met Police video, I did get sacked. But that series is coming back Monday or Tuesday of next week. So keep your eyes peeled for the revamp, the reboot of the Met Police series. This one is going to be laid back and it's going to be a weekend series. Every Saturday, every Sunday, 6pm I'm going to aim for. And so, yeah, keep your eyes peeled for that. Subscribe, please, if you're interested in this series. All the Met Police, all the Pro Evo. Whatever you're interested in, please do subscribe. 
And that's us with our first highlight of the game. Comes back out to Albrighton who shoots and he scores. Yes. What a first highlight of the season. Mark Albrighton with the free kick. And let's have another look as it came back out. Come on, son. Here he is. The free kick goes high over the wall. They head it back out. But Albrighton's the first to react. Beats a man. Cuts into the box. And absolutely thwacks it into the back of the net. So, oh, I wasn't expecting that goal. So, we got, what, two minutes till half time. And, yeah. That is half time. We've got a lot of red on our team analysis, but we're winning. We are 1-0 up against Newcastle. We've only had two shots with only, only that one on target. They've had four with two on target. And so, let's go into the dressing room. That first half is flown by a lot quicker than what I was expecting. So, I'm going to go. I'm happy with your performance so far. We're winning. Newcastle haven't really threatened us from what I've seen. So, yep, they're all extremely delighted. Let's go on to the second half and see if Newcastle can come back at us. Now, 47 minutes gone, 48 minutes gone. Still not much in the way of highlights. Possession's very even. We've not had a single shot yet in this second half, but then Newcastle had one or two, but we're not seeing anything of their highlights. As now, finally, they're coming forward. It's Selvi with the ball. He whips it out wide to D Dumisi, I think his name is. No idea. But his shot has gone high and wide over the bar. I had no idea how to pronounce his name. He had no idea how to, how to um, uh, kick, kick that football. And so, we've got 20 minutes left. I'm going to make a change. I'm going to make a change. Wilfred and Diddy coming on for Adrian Silva. Yeah, he's a little bit happier in that role. And I think, as for the rest, just leave it as is for the time being. So I'm going to do a sell. I'm going to demand more, which is a weird thing to say when you're 1-0 up. But all Brighton with the corner and the header from one of our guys there. And it goes out for a corner ball. I'm just going to change this to my usual camera settings, which I have learned off Kurt EFM. So thank you very much for that, mate. And then Ndidi trying to pick up the ball. He doesn't, but Drinkwater does. Plays it back to Johnny Evans to Chilwell. And he keeps hold of it back to Evans again. A little bit of one-two going on between them. Goes back to Casper Michael. Long ball going forward there. And Ian Atto nods it down for Vardy. Can he find a teammate? He does. He's found Albrighton. Albrighton out wide. Drinkwater with a header, and it's a great stop there. And Damari Gray's header, his, his cross has gone to drink water. And that's gone out for a goal kick. Now, what are we now? Just eight minutes from time. Can we hold on to this? Perez with the ball. All Brighton nicely there. Vardy. To Ndidi. Can Vardy get forward please so we can, we can get a focal point? Now it's Gray with the ball running forward at the defence. He's gone out wide. He's played it through to Vardy with a shot and that's 2-0. Jamie Vardy, first game of the season, is having a party. 2-0 up now against Newcastle. That should be game over, I think. This has been a very comfortable performance. Newcastle not really threatening us. But now me having said that, they're, they're going to come back and score three in the next eight minutes, isn't they, people? But yet, yeah, very, very beautiful goal there. By Jamie Vardy. And they're making a change. They're bringing Diarmi on, which is the change you want to make when you're 2-0 down, isn't it, people? So, speaking of changes, I'm going to take Vardy off just to get his round of applause. And give Madison a weird 20-second debut. Now, Gray nods it forward to Dummett. To Diarmi. Back to Selvi. And he tries to cross it there, but Albrighton intercepts it and heads it straight back at him. Now it goes to Yedlin in the black and white. It hits our man and goes out for a throw in. So this should be our substitution just to waste a little bit of time. And I think the referee's about to blow his whistle. And he, indeed he has. That's a very, very nice performance on the first game of the season. 
We had seven shots to their ten. Four shots on target to their five. Two nil. We won the game of football. That is pretty much the perfect start. I think you can say. So I'm going to go passing it. I'm very happy with the result. And the way you played. And so guys. Let's have a look. See when I'm going to come back. As hey look at that. We was the first game of the season. We won it. So we are top of the table. But anyway guys. Yep. I'm going to play forward. Uh, eight or nine games I think. So if we look at. What's eight or nine games from here. One, two, three. I'm including the League Cup. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes I've come back for the Wolves game. That's what I'm thinking. So I'll be back tomorrow with that guys. So if you've enjoyed that video. Please give me a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more FM content. More Pro Evo content. And in the new year Total Extreme Wrestling content. And so yeah guys. Uh, follow me on Twitter. At Bad Jokes Gaming. One thing left to say. I am Bad Jokes. Call me Claudio.